Our fellas, our guys, our team. It was our prime time for fandom, spending nights on Water Street, walking every city block, never missing a pitch, as John Miller, Tom Marr, and Brooks would be screaming through screen doors. We went 40, 50 games. Can you imagine that? We were always out there. We learned to spell O-R-I-O-L-E-S. We'd sit up high and know the ushers by name, and they'd allow us to sit down low. And after home games on Saturday, we'd race to Christopher's where the heat and the cold sweat horns would, would be wrapping up a set and here it would walk in Rick Dempsey and his band of Orioles to take the stage. And Scotty would toss a breaker to a Phil who would slap it to short. Cal would leap and snare it and there you would have it. This is going to happen every year, right? Every year. That victory parade leaving the vet and heading down 95 South was one we'll never forget. Forty years ago, they were our heroes. Forty years later, they're our friends. We were together for a long time, and uh, we were we were winners for a long time, and we we just we believed in ourselves. That whole year, anybody that was called up or from the bench always contributed to the success of the team, and you don't find that very often. In '83 was it was just a great year. I mean, we we're like family. Our whole team was family. And all these guys. Look at look at Palmer, and there's Singleton, and there's Rick Dempsey, Rick Dempsey MVP of the '83 World Series. There's Swaggerty. Our guy, good buddy. Hey, here, here's our uh, poll question for the day. Where, we're asking, where were you when the Birds won it all in 83? Most of you say, well, I was at home on the couch watching them win game five. A fair amount of you say you weren't even born yet. Well, we want to hear from you on this at wmar2news.com slash myvote.